Hello guys and welcome to my first proper project log update. Ever since getting into Warhammer 40k and seeing John Blanche's depiction of the Emperor on the Golden Throne in the 3rd edition rulebook, I have been fascinated by the idea of making a model version of it for myself. For the last few years I have been collecting bits from different Warhammer box sets in order to create my diorama, and in 2020 I finally made a start. I began by using an Age of Sigmar chain rasp that I would heavily green stuffed and stuck to the cockpit chair of a Storm Talon. After this I began using green stuff to make hundreds of cables that I would use in and around the Golden Throne. Taking further inspiration from John Blanche's Emperor of Mankind artwork, I knew from the start I wanted to have lots of cabling and for it to have a very grimdark feel. For the wall and floor I have used two tiles from the Necromunda Zone Mortalis floor tile set. These tiles work perfectly in terms of aesthetic and scale and also provide a sturdy base. Some of the models used in this kitbash diorama include, but are not limited to, Space Marine Storm Talon, Age of Sigmar Chain Rasps, Citadel Skulls, Space Marine Purity Seals, The Hobbit Great Eagles, Zone Mortalis Floor Tiles, Void Shield Generator, a lot of green stuff, and some bits from the bits box. I never had a plan of where I wanted each piece to go within the diorama, so most of the construction was trial and error, along with dry fitting pieces to see what worked. As I decided to paint this project after construction, I made an effort not to clutter the diorama too much, as I could always return and add extra pieces once the main bulk had been painted. I completed the initial construction in June of 2020 and began the painting process. I had decided beforehand that I was going to paint up this piece in a moody, sinister and grungy style, but also add more detail to certain areas. Some areas are also going to include brighter and less muted colours to draw the eye, which would give the impression that some parts of the Golden Throne are better maintained than others. I continued to paint the diorama over the course of a couple of months and managed to complete a large section of it. It was around this stage that I encountered my first roadblock. Due to the global pandemic and the UK being mostly locked down, I found that I had lost my inspiration. For months I found myself procrastinating and unwilling to continue the work I had started. And before I knew it, it was 2021. That brings us up to now. As I mentioned in my previous video, I aim to tackle my huge backlog of figures, and it seems only fitting that this miniature takes centre stage. As the UK starts opening up again and people are becoming less restricted, I find that I have a new lease of inspiration and want to dive back into the hobby I enjoy so much. So I picked the brush back up and got to work, but I am still aware there is a lot to do. This week I have painted some more of the cables on the piece and also started picking out other details around the diorama such as control panels, purity seals and scrolls. I also have some terminals that I'm hoping to paint and attach to the diorama to further iterate the magnitude of technology required to keep the Emperor alive. I'm toying with the idea of adding a servitor and two custodians standing guard. I have purchased a selection of rust pigments and washes that I intend to add to the model once the painting is complete. My feeling is that a variety of pigments will help produce the grim dark style that I am looking to achieve. Next week, I plan to work on the seemingly countless amount of skulls that have been base coated and washed. They will all need to be individually highlighted. I have decided to add black script to the purity seals instead of leaving them blank. This should test my faith in the Emperor, and more likely, my patience. Near the end of this project, I'm going to look into making a plinth for the completed diorama, as I would really like to have it feature as a display piece. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm aiming to get this project finished over the next few weeks, and make two or three videos to document the entire process. Besides the challenge I have set myself to paint my entire collection, this Emperor of Mankind diorama is the largest single project I have ever set myself. Before I wrap up this video, I would like to say a quick thank you for all the support I have received over on Instagram. I look forward to showing you all the completed model, hopefully with some interesting videos to boot. Until the next one, thank you for watching.